Well, they've been locked away and rarely seen for centuries. But now, for the first time, the public is to have access to a set of unique and controversial historic documents. Trinity College, in conjunction with two UK universities, has digitised written witness testimonies of the outbreak of the 1641 rebellion. Now, the first batch, from Ulster, can be accessed online. The prisoners were driven into the water. And then and there were instantly and most barbarously drowned. And those that could swim and came to the shore, they knocked on the head. And so after drowned them, or else they were shot to death in the water. Often bloody and riveting, always controversial, this is one of thousands of written testimonies from mostly Protestant settlers recounting what happened to them at the outbreak of the 1641 rebellion. Until now, though, these influential documents have been inaccessible to all but a handful of scholars. These unique depositions are one of the great treasures of this, the Long Room Library in Trinity. The actual manuscripts may be locked away here, but now digital technology has brought their stories alive for anyone to read. It's taken three years to transcribe and digitise the 4,000 or so depositions, and the first to benefit are these students, the first to have unfettered access to these texts in electronic form. It's fantastic. This is just, a, a, as, as a teaching uh, tool, it's amazing to have the students engage with the primary material because it allows them to do research that is truly original. Because the depositions haven't been extensively worked on, we have so many areas that need to be explored. The depositions are controversial because they allege that the rebellion began with a premeditated massacre of Protestant settlers. These students say the being able time. to study the actual texts has inspired their understanding. I think one of the most surprising aspects of the depositions, and something that hasn't been talked about before, is the fiscal motivation for many of these attacks. It was about property, it was about goods, and it was about realigning um, the kind of economic interests. The project to bring the depositions online has involved not just historians, but linguists, geographers and computer scientists. It's been a mutually beneficial process, you know. I mean, the technology has benefited the humanities in the research they can conduct, but this is an extremely novel collection of text for computer scientists to research upon. If you look at the structure of the text, there's inconsistency in spelling and capitalization and punctuation in all manners of the text, and that's very similar to what we see on the web now. Those involved in the project say this is just the start of a new journey of discovery, and it's one anyone can take part in. The first batch of digitized depositions from Ulster is now online for all to study at tcd.ie forward slash history forward slash 1641 ML Kelly or News Trinity College